Hi everyone, my name is Tanik. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like this video, I request you all to please click on like, subscribe and bell icon for new video notifications. And today I'm going to discuss about the Google call forwarding number and how you can check this report on using Google Ads. So first of all, you need to have the uh, settings enabled in your Google Ads account. Previously, you used to have the Google forwarding option uh, enabled at the uh, ads level. Right now, you also have, but now you also have the option at the account level. To go to the account level settings, first of all, you need to click on all campaigns. Okay, and then uh, you have to click on settings. I apologize, my system is very slow today. However, I try to manage with the available options here. So you just need to scroll down on the second navigation panel, click on settings. And let's wait for the page to be loaded. So on the top, you will see campaign settings and account settings. Please go to the account settings. And you will see call reporting turned on. So you, when you opt into the call reporting service, for example, you are using call only ads and you're trying to track the call data that you are receiving through Google Ads, you need to have the call reporting on. So when you turn the call reporting on, Google will give you a Google forwarding number, a local number instead of your phone number. So you on your app, you will see a different phone number instead of your business number. This will help you for the system to track how many conversions that you are getting through calls. So in order to find out what is the uh, data that you are receiving through Google Ads, you need to click on the tools. Uh, sorry, you need to click on the reports, and then go to predefined reports, and then go to others. Then click on extensions and you will see two options call extensions and call details if you click on call details we will see the list of data that uh, how many calls that you are getting through google ads and how much duration that they try to interact with your business so as we are on this page i'm going to help you with the other option you can see the reports So at present, I do not have any active campaign or a call only ad to have this data. But however, this is how you can see the starting time, the end time of the uh, call and duration of call. And uh, from which country you have received this and area code status and call source and from which campaign and which ad group you have received this data. You will have all this information. If you want, you can also use the available options like a filter to get more in details of the data that you're looking okay like you have a list of you know uh, uh, ad groups ad group which strategy type so to get you know like more information that could help you for you for a data analysis and helps you to take the appropriate decision to proceed or to make any modifications and make any necessary changes uh, with for a for the for the required uh, for the for the required business output Google Ads and uh, you also have other options when you click on reports you just need to click on predefined reports let me just talk about the available options here if you go to the time time will help you for you to know how was your ad performance with respect to the day of the week or day per week uh, for month per quarter per year and hour of the day the hour of the day for example you have logged in into your Google Ads account in the afternoon and you want to know how, how many clicks that you have received in the morning between 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And you can come here and you click on the hour of the day and Google will show you the list of data at what time you have received the clicks and what is the, uh, how many clicks and how many impressions that you have received uh, with respect to the each hour. You will see to 0, 1 p.m. or 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Like that, it will follow the uh, time schedule of 24 uh, hours and as respectively you can see how many clicks that you have received at that particular hour impressions and what was the cpr and what was the cost that you have spent and uh, 
this will help you for a little bit more in details of this and uh, coming to other points like uh, you need to just adjust the date range here when you scroll up you will see the bell icon or you, you will see the uh, date range here when you click on it you have the option to choose for example you want to know at 3 p.m at 3 p.m on july on february 13th at 3 a.m what was my ad performance you can just adjust the settings accordingly and you can make the changes I hope for this video will help you for you if you have any further questions i advise you to please click on uh, uh, like subscribe button and bell icon and if you have any further questions please let me know through comments and i'll be very happy to follow up and do my best to clear plan for all your questions and i'll try to respond at the end great talking to you guys i wish you